Thank you, Marissa T. An unspeakable crime in Brooklyn. A young woman survived a terrifying ordeal inside her home. She was asleep. A guy walked in, raped and robbed her at gunpoint. PIX 11's Anthony DiLorenzo is live on the corner of Wilson and DeKalb Avenues in Bush, uh, Bushwick with a look at the suspect. Anthony, do they know any more about this guy this morning? Well, we have some images of him that police released to us overnight, which we'll show you in just a second. This guy broke into the woman's apartment in the dead of the night and then gave her a chilling ultimatum. He told her either she would be raped or she would be killed and asked her to decide. We'll show you this guy's picture right now. This is a composite sketch that the victim helped with, along with a corner store surveillance image of the man they're looking for. The 29-year-old victim called 911 yesterday morning after her horrific ordeal inside of her apartment on DeKalb Avenue. It happened around 1 in the morning. She woke up to her door being opened, and police sources say the suspect found a spare key that was hidden and got right inside. Armed with a silver gun, he went after the woman, tying her up before raping and then robbing her. And those images of the guy on your screen, once again, police need your help to find him. He's in his mid-30s. He's 6 feet tall and weighs 195 pounds. What makes this crime seemingly even more brazen is that it happened around the corner from a police precinct. They're on this case and they are asking for your help to find him. As for the victim, she was treated and released from the hospital. We're live in Bushwick. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX 11 News. All right, thank you so much, Anthony. It is 6, I'm sorry, it is 8.03. Police are searching for a man accused of public lewdness in downtown Brooklyn. Cops say last Wednesday, this man sat across from a 25-year-old woman on the 2 train at Court Street Station. He exposed himself when the victim pulled out her cell phone and took this picture. He, well, he ran off the train at the Borough Hall Station. If you know something about this, please call police. Well, Commissioner Bill Bratton has confirmed he does not plan to lead the NYPD beyond 2017. In an interview with the New York Times, Bratton left open the possibility he could leave even sooner than that. When asked about the interview, Bratton said he was only reiterating comments that he made last year that he planned to hold the position for one more term. But he did make it clear that the decision to leave would be his own. Bratton added that he already has a successor in mind, Chief James O'Neill. My job is it's uh, apolitical. I, I love what I do. I love being a cop. I love this uniform. So however I can serve the city well. But I, but I enjoy this and I enjoy seeing uh, what the courageous men and women of the NYPD do every day. So I love my job. Uh, there's never a good time to leave something that you love doing, but there's a right time. That, uh, uh, Chief O'Neill heads the department's effort to improve ties with black and Hispanic New Yorkers. <laughs> What I admire most about Hillary is that she never buckles under pressure. She, she never takes the easy way out. And Hillary Clinton has never quit on anything in her life. Well, the Democrats needed a moment of unity, and there it was, the first night of convention, and First Lady Michelle Obama may have accomplished that goal. Her emotional speech was the highlight of the evening. And Democrats are hoping to keep that momentum from her speech going into the rest of the convention. We want to go live now to PIX 11's Mario Diaz. He's live at the Democratic National Convention in Philly. Mario, the question is, can anybody match Michelle Obama's performance last night? Scott, let me tell you something. In the city that brought us Rocky, she hit an absolute knockout with that speech last night. A grand slam, if you want to put it in baseball terms. It was the speech that everyone wanted to hear because it put them on the path to unity. However, there was this one issue about a gentleman from Brooklyn with an army of supporters that really helped mix things up last night as well. Night number one of the convention, very, very interesting here in Philadelphia. An energetic crowd was on its feet, roaring as Senator Bernie Sanders took the stage at the Democratic National Convention Monday night. Sanders, a Brooklyn native, coming up short in a difficult primary. I think it's fair to say that no one is more disappointed than I am. Sanders encouraged his divided supporters to support Hillary Clinton on Election Day. Hillary Clinton must become the next president of the United States. Sanders also called for party unity. This election must be about bringing our people together. 
Monday night saw other notable speakers, one after the other, making the case that Democrats must work together after a divisive primary season. One of the speakers, comedian Sarah Silverman, a former Sanders supporter, now in Clinton's camp. To the Bernie or bust people, you're being ridiculous. First Lady Michelle Obama, in an upbeat speech that not once mentioned Donald Trump, she painted Hillary Clinton as a positive role model. When I think about the kind of president that I want for my girls and all our children, that's what I want. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren had no issues going on the attack, mentioning Donald Trump by name and slamming him. Let's face it. Donald Trump has no real plans, no plans to make anything great for anyone except rich guys like Donald Trump. Inside this room who wanted him to still be the nominee. Now another person that delivered a speech that was well received here in Philadelphia last night, Senator Cory Booker from just across the pond, uh, I should say right across the Hudson in New Jersey. Um, what can we expect here on day number two of the convention? Well, there's a roll call and a vote that will officially make Hillary Clinton the official nominee for U.S. president on the Democratic side. And then this evening, you're going to have a speech from her husband. Former President Bill Clinton. That's the story this morning from Philadelphia. I'm Mario Diaz, live so from the Wells Fargo Center. Now back to you, Scott. So do you, uh, I have to ask, do the, do the Bernie supporters feel like they, they're pacified at this moment? Do they believe in this movement now? Are they completely, have they bought in? Oh, I think they bought in from day one, Suki. There's no doubt about it. And they've had their voices he heard here at the convention. But obviously, we know that Hillary Clinton's going to get the nomination this year. Uh, as far as this political revolution, as Bernie likes to call it, well, it appears to be moving and gaining some momentum with his supporters. That's, uh, and I think that's the part that everybody's putting big question marks on. Mario, we thank you. Great thank you, reporting Mario. right there. I like how you're talking about the knockout. Look, Leave it to him to talk about <laughs> the knockout from Michelle Obama. Love it. Love thank it. Thank you, Mario. You know, it's funny because it seemed like Bernie supporters uh, we're kind of we're, we're, we're almost we're swaying to, they toward, were, they were, toward they're Hillary into it. until this past weekend's email scandal came out, and now they're back to you well know, behind their guy. It was everything that he was saying all along, and then yeah. now that you have the proof, so it's interesting. It's going to be there's a lot coming out of that, and of course we're going to stay on top of that. Mm -hmm. Also later today, believe it or not, there's actually a food battle that's brewing between New York City and Philadelphia. He knew this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. New York Congressman Carolyn Maloney will team up with Pennsylvania Representative Brendan Boyle, and they're judging New York cheesecakes mm -hmm. against Philly cheesesteaks. That's tough. That's a tough one. The food fight is happening this afternoon in Philadelphia. The winner will get bragging rights as the Eastern food capital of the United States. <laughs> so sweet or savory, who's going to win out? I don't know. I don't know. Geno's or Pat's? <laughs> yeah. Picks 11 will be live in Philadelphia all week for the Democratic National Convention. Of course, you can also get the latest convention coverage online at picks11.com slash election 2016 and on our Picks 11 app. I wonder if Juniors is going to get involved. Of in course, that. Juniors. It's, it's, it's like cheesecake, it's right? quintessential New York City cheesecake. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be. That's a tough one. Well, we've been listening to Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton speak for months now, but what are they really saying with their body? We've got a body language expert joining us live next to look for some hidden meaning. Then later, we know how hard you moms work, but we also know that many of us put ourselves second behind our kids. So Monica Morales is doing something, surprising a New Jersey mom with something that, well, she's put on the back burner for a long time. Stay with us. of nature or a sales event. The Summer of Audi sales event is here. Get exceptional offers now during the Summer of Audi sales event. Here's to summer, to me time becoming we time becoming we should do this all the time. And here's to spending quality time with me, my friends, and delicious McCafe. Spend quality summer time with a sweet McCafe frappe or a real fruit smoothie. Get a small for just $1.99. But hurry, because just like summer, this deal will be gone before you know it. To summer.
Discover card. I'm not a customer, but I'm calling about that credit score card. Give it? Oh, sure. It's free for everyone. Oh, well, that's nice. And checking your score won't hurt your credit. Oh! I'm so proud of you. Well, thank you. Get your free credit scorecard at discover.com, even if you're not a customer. Beyond has a natural grain-free pet food committed to truth on the label. When we say real meat is the first ingredient, it is number one. And we leave out corn, wheat, and soy. For your pet, we go beyond. Weekdays at 2 p.m. on Pix11. The Ford Freedom Sales Event is on. It's our biggest event of the year. And 0% financing is back on a huge selection of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Plus, get an extra 1,000 smart bonus on specially tagged vehicles. That's freedom from interest and freedom to choose with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now get a Fusion with 0% financing for 72 months or lease for just $139 a month at your local Ford dealer. Here's a great idea. You know that room you want to redo? Make it fresh and beautiful in just three days. Guaranteed. During the home makeover sale at Raymore and Flanagan, save 20% on this queen bedroom set, 25% on this chenille sofa, save up to $1,000 on mattress sets, and queen lifestyle adjustable bases start at just $5.99, plus no interest for 48 months. The home makeover sale, only at Raymore and Flanagan. Two names say it all. Pix11 News, sponsored by Raymore and Flanagan Furniture. Furnishing your style. The Pix11 Weather Center is brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. Meteorologist Linda Church, uh, just a look at some of these ridiculous rainfall amounts that we had yesterday in and around the area. The problem with the rain is it came down fast and furious. What we need is a cloudy day where you get light rain at the beginning, like an onset of drizzle, and then the rain picks up in strength over a long period of time. That allows all the moisture to seep through the layers of soil. But when you get an inch of rain in less than an hour, it's just going to fly right off the top soil. JFK had a record two and a half half inches yesterday. Newark, uh, a little less than two inches. We are way dry, five inches below normal since the beginning of the year. I did check New York City reservoirs, and you longtime New York City residents know the reservoirs are up here. The reservoirs are fine. The res it has been raining, apparently. They don't have a problem up where the reservoirs are. The rest of us certainly seeing some dry lawns out there. Nine o'clock, we've got hazy sunshine throughout the day. I think that's a little overdone. We, uh, we should not see any rain at all today, nor should we throughout much of the day tomorrow. Tomorrow, hazy sunshine and partly sunny skies at times. So maybe a couple of more clouds tomorrow. The big difference between today and tomorrow, tomorrow slightly more humid. So just a little bit more of the humidity. Not as hot, but more humid. And I was trying to decide which is worse, the heat or the humidity. It's a toss up. You get to Thursday and the humidity is really starting to climb. And this is when we'll start to see some showers at the end of the day. More widespread showers on Friday. And Friday, the heat wave breaks. Hang in there till Friday. 93 degrees this afternoon. Guys, it doesn't seem to want to end. All right. Thank you so much, Linda. You know, we've been bombarded with presidential politics for over a week now. Listening to the candidates is one thing, but a lot of people are looking at them a little bit closer, giving them a side eye, looking at the body <laughs> language. You know, when somebody looks at somebody yeah, funny, yeah. you know, mm, you well, know what I'm talking about? God, sure. It's a whole different, different perspective because sometimes what you're saying and what your body is doing sometimes doesn't always jive. What's mine tell you right now? That you love me. <laughs> Joining us this morning is body language expert Tanya Ryman, author of The Yes Factor, The Secrets of Persuasive Communication. She's going to give us her take on what the candidates are really saying. Tanya, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Let's talk first about Hillary and her running mate, Mr. Kane. Uh, when you look at these two, they just started making right. their appearances together. Does this seem to you like it's a forced marriage, or is this something that kind of happened organically? Oh, no, this is definitely, they, they like each other. Yeah. I mean, this has been going on for a few months behind closed doors, okay. but you can see there's warmth there when right. they get together. So that's genuine. And... While I was watching him speak, I really, for the first time, saw Hillary excited, a genuine smile instead of True. that fake, phony is. smile that okay. she normally has. And the has. hug was genuine, too. Yes, yeah, there's a fondness there. Look at them, and they're in rapport, they're in sync, they're, they know what they're doing, you know, mm -hmm. that they did really well together. All right, let's talk about Bernie Sanders. He spoke last night at the Democratic National Convention. A lot of people are saying, you know, he was trying to rally his base around Hillary. Did you think that endorsement 
you know, appeared genuine when he went to the podium? I think it was. I don't think, okay. I, I don't think he's happy about it. Okay. He stated that. He's one of the most authentic people that we've seen oh, yeah. running in a while. And the funny thing is, I, when I watched him, it was like he was a rock star. There were people in the audience just bawling their yeah. eyes out, crying. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, this man would have been the rock star. I mean, he was it. Yeah. And so it's been very emotional. And the fact that he got everybody involved, like $27. <laughs> yeah. You know, the whole audience is in with True. it. People loved him, and I think that's going to pull a lot of weight for Hillary. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the deal with uh, Donald Trump and, and his running mate Mike Pence? You know, everybody talking about that awkward air kiss. Yeah, Donald that was went in very for. strange. Um, but didn't you think that was just like a New York kind of thing? Like, you <laughs> know, us New Yorkers, we lean in, we go in for the kiss. I agree, and obviously there's a difference there in, in yeah. the way they interact. But I think the interesting thing is two things. Number one, the fact that. Uh, Pence initially endorsed Cruz, so there's that little disconnect mm -hmm. between them to begin with. Right. And when the kiss came on, my interpretation was it was, it was initially it was a dominant move right. by oh. Trump, mm -hmm. but then Pence didn't take that. He like pulled him back and tapped him on the arm. All I right. think though that whole kiss yeah, was to make go. up for the previous interaction because in the previous interaction, when Donald is first introducing him, he pivots his body away okay. and kind of gives him a cold shoulder. So there was a disconnect on the initial meeting wow. and I think people thought those two aren't going to mesh. So the kiss was kind of a way to make up for it. The only thing I think he did wrong in that is they should plan it. You know, it should be, they should know oh, exactly should how that reading is going to be. Right, especially because, yes. especially after that weird kiss with yeah. Tipper Gore and, of exactly. course, Al Gore, yes. which we remembered, uh, and everybody dissected that for days and yeah. months and weeks. All right, let's talk about Donald Trump. He's been really questioned as being a little too handsy. Uh, with his daughter Ivanka mm -hmm. and maybe even giving his wife the cold shoulder. The cold what do you shoulder, think yeah. about that one? Yeah, when we watched that interaction, it was interesting because he goes over to his wife and he, you know, they do the double kiss, both sides, and but yet he has his hand kind of extended out so that they can't really do a hug, right? Which is bizarre, you know, because you Here expect, it is right there. Yeah, yeah, you expect that you want to hug. So he puts his hand out and then he taps her, which is a little strange. That's his too. daughter. Oh, okay. Well, with the daughter, when he went down, he kind of touched her in an inappropriate place uh, yeah. for TV. Maybe <laughs> they just have that kind of relationship. They're they really do. close. I mean, it's, yeah, it's you know? dad. But I just think at that age, you, you no longer frisk your children. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You, you mean no you just frisk you your don't get to frisk but your children? You know what? He did great. They both and Melania did beautifully as well. I just wonder. He seems so close to his children, and when I'm when I watch him with Melania, mm -hmm. there doesn't seem to be that same kind of closeness, you okay. know. And that start, could be her background. I, I need to start watching this more closely. But it could be her background because remember where she comes from. Yeah. It's, they're not very touchy feely people. So yeah. you know, given that fact, you have to recognize maybe there's a reason that they don't do all that affection and hugging. What is our body? language it's true you. love what is it I, I, should, I have to lean in right? yeah. I, have, I have to lean, lean in, in and touch, touch him you know? touch him touch that's him. right all the important things all right tanya thank you so much for being thank here you. it's always very good to see you and really you do have to look closer yeah. because sometimes yeah. in politics looking now. you got to dig a little bit deeper and that's mm -hmm. why we have her head on over our pix 11 news app and to you know learn more about tanya's body language university which she does have, nice. go to our Pix11 app and download all the information. It is 820 still ahead. They're calling it the largest disruption in the transit system's history. A look at the consequences of the big L train shutdown that's coming down the tracks. Yeah, plus she may have been the smallest speaker with one of the biggest voices. Why people are talking about this little girl who took the stage last night at the DNC, come on back. Get the heart of the story. From the heart of the neighborhood, Tamsin Fidel, John Muller, Sports Desk with Andy Adler, and the weather with Mr. G. Weeknights on the Pix 11 News. Offering the most powerful turbo four cylinder engine in its class and performance Brembo brakes. The Cadillac ATS, every moment accelerated. During summer's best, current GM lessees can lease this Cadillac ATS from around $279 per month. Visit CadillacTriState.com to locate a dealer near you. One-fifth of all the fresh water in the world flows into one incredible experience you can't find anywhere else. And that's not the only thing you can only find in New York State.
You can find it all only in New York. New York, it's all here. It's only here. Plan your summer vacation at iloveny.com. I can do this. It's just a sale. A really amazing sale. You okay, Charlie? Ah. Uh, it's my first Hyundai sales event, sir. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. After all, we still have America's best warranty. We're still number one in customer loyalty. The only difference is, with all these great deals, we're just gonna be a little busier. A little, sir? Uh, guys, take it back. We're gonna be a lot busier. Get the Elantra for 0% APR for 48 months, plus $1,000 off and no payments until 2017. <laughs> Hurry, this offer ends August 1st. Parents can be so boring. When is daddy gonna come home? As soon as he finishes work. But what if your dad was a cat? Yeah! Seriously? On August 5th. Graceful. You try it. Rock out. Come on, catch me. With your claws out. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Hey! You! Nailed it. Nine lives. Rated PG. Chevrolet is the most awarded car company of the last two years. Wow. Very impressive. When you find a bonus tag at your Chevy dealer, you get additional savings. That's awesome. Anything that's bonus is beautiful. That's nice. I'm in love. I don't know what to tell you. I'll take them all. It's all happening at the Chevy Summer Sell Now. She's going to make me sign right now. Can we sign with you? Yeah. <laughs> find your tag and get 20% cash back of the MSRP on select 2016 Equinox vehicles in stock. Or current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Equinox for around $189 a month. PIX11 News, sponsored by Infinity. Visit your local New York area Infinity retailer for a test drive today. Well, the MTA confirms that the L train is going to shut down between Brooklyn and Manhattan. Mm. The project will force thousands of commuters to find different ways to get around. All right, Pickles 11's Kirsten Cole is live in the East Village with the details. Getting an earful, angry people, 18 months, I can't <laughs> imagine. <laughs> You know, New Yorkers are so awesome. They're kind of resigned to it because they realize this is a 100-year-old tunnel that got damaged by Superstorm Sandy back in 2012. But nobody wants to have their commute massively disrupted, which is what we're looking at since all five stops in New York will be closed when it comes to the L train. So the last stop in Brooklyn is going to be Bedford. Train's still running on the Brooklyn side, and it'll take care of people who do that sort of a commute. But when it comes to getting underneath the East River, when it comes to going cross town in Manhattan, that's going to be a complete no-go starting in 2019. It'll take 18 months. But hey, New Yorkers say we're tough, we're resilient. We will just make it work. I'd rather them get this done and not a tragedy happen. I may have to take actually either two buses and a train. So you're hoping they improve the bus service to make it a little more streamlined. So. We're really going to need it. So the MTA has more than two years to figure it out. Some of the options, a dedicated bus lane on the Williamsburg Bridge, adding more ferry service to get people across the river, putting more cars on the existing trains that already make the trek underneath the East River. All of these up in the air. One thing, though, you can sort of forget about the car because that is going to be an absolute nightmare with 225,000 riders displaced. We're talking about the L train apocalypse, as they're calling it. Live in the East Village this morning, I'm Kirsten Cole, Pix 11. News. It's a lot of people looking for different places to go, right, to get into the work. Thanks a lot, Kirsten. Appreciate that. 825 ahead this morning. D.L. Hughley is going to be here live, the outspoken comedian. He's got a new book out. He's talking about that, plus a recent TV interview that's, well, that's gone viral. Then, raw emotion from a little girl at the DNC. She reveals her biggest fears and why she thinks Hillary Clinton is the candidate to help her. Then a New Jersey mom who works two jobs to support her three sons. Desperate need of a wardrobe makeover. Watch what happens when our Monica Morales steps in to help. Yes, I can see you, see you, see you, see you. You've heard of a pack of wolves, the pride of lions. A murder of crows. Well, we call this a rumble of dodges. When you call one, you call them all. Right now, current lessees of competitive vehicles get a low mileage lease on the 2016 Dodge Challenger for $129 a month.
Well, those two, they're always fighting for attention. There's more to a legendary city than its legends. Plan your legendary stay at visitphilly.com. You've heard the rumors. She flies through the night by broom. Munchkins flee from her in terror. She's plotting a revolt against the wizard. But the true story may surprise you. Wicked. Tamsin Fidel, John Muller. Weeknights on PIX11 News. The road to victory has no shortcuts. It is paved with trial and error, sweat and tears. When you push the limits of what is possible, victory will greet you at the finish line, no matter how you get there. BMW is a proud partner of the 2016 U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. Take a test drive to support Team USA and help raise up to $1.5 million and beyond during BMW Drive for a Cause. Register today. This isn't just water. This is a man-made force of nature. These are hydro-powered smiles. This is soaked and loving it. This is family time you'll brag about. Three massive indoor water park resorts in the Pocono Mountains. Just pack your bags to give your family the splashiest adventure around. All right, what do you think, boys? We could do tacos. We could do some Thai. Oh, how about sushi, huh? No, we're not having barbecue again. Why? Because you're on four legs and I'm on two. And I'm driving. That's why. Sushi it is. Lease a navigator for $5.99 a month or get 0% APR for 60 months. And just announced $1,000 summer invitation bonus. Live from Studio 2A in Pix Plaza, you're watching the Pix 11 Morning News with Sukanya Krishnan and Scott Stanford. Running and running, running and running, running. Coming up on 8.30 on this Tuesday, July the 26th. Ooh, the Black Eyed Peas, right? Yeah. And running, running and running. Let's think, get it started. I don't think anybody's running right now. Let's if you're it. running, you should start early. It's kind of getting hot already. Yeah. But you know what? There was a crazy weather night. How was it by your house? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a deluge. We, we had a couple flash things flood happen. Warnings. Flash floods. Flash floods. Look at this. Check out this water spout south of Staten Island in Sandy Hook Bay. Take a look at this. Do we have that up there? Of course we have it. There it there is. There it is. Wow, wow, that's actually one of the better shots I've seen of it. I've seen a couple of shots of this. Basically a water spout, FYI, for those of you playing along at home. Tornado over the water. Yeah. That's wow. all. A lot of times um, this one was actually caused by dy dynamics in the weather. If it's just a local, they can also be local um, situations where you have cold water or warm water and they don't come on shore. Yeah. But this would have been a situation where Probably could I love how you say it so calmly. Tornado over the water. If that was me, I'd be like, Tornado over the water. There's a tornado over the water. Like, That's eh, why we're yin water. and yang, oh, buddy. Oh. That's how it rolls. Don't go daredevils drive the through them, Linda. Can't you? I mean, it's not safe to do, but what? I, I saw something before where these daredevils took their boat through oh, a no, water. No, spot. no, 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 no. That's called being an idiot. Those aren't yes. daredevils. <laughs> Those aren't idiots. That is you. refer That's to them you. correctly. Yeah. If you're a boater, did they not go through it? Well, sure. Now that's an itsy bitsy spider, and it didn't end well. No. Wash the spider right <laughs> out. Washed it right out. Right. Same thing with boaters. <laughs> so that's what the lullaby is all about. Okay. Do not boat <laughs> when there's Full water yeah. spout. <laughs> <laughs> Came all the way around with that one, didn't we? Uh, today, no issues as far as stormy weather is concerned out there. Also, less humid, which is a real <laughs> bonus when you're talking about this kind of heat, which we really have. We are in the low 90s. And Scott, I'm very calm in all types of excitement. I, I happen to be one of those, like, if there's a bad thing going on, I'm always like, yeah, that's happening <laughs> in the 60s and the 70s right now. Mid-70s along coastal areas, upper 70s as you get closer to the city. Uh, later on this afternoon, this is our hot area. This will be the hottest. Not as humid as yesterday, but certainly very challenging as far as the heat's concerned. Upper 60s, low to mid-70s, north of town, east of town this morning. Mid-70s for the most part, low to mid-70s, uh, Connecticut. Danbury starting out at 72 degrees. Satellite and radar, hardly a cloud in the sky, maybe a couple. Uh, down around 195, but uh, nothing, nothing, just absolute straight up sunshine, which for us at this point is not such a good thing because it's just going